molto chiara e corposa, ecco, quell'effetto presenza che in questa banda a Ponte noi non riusciamo This is my BitX40 transceiver, I just added an AGC circuit, this is a sample sound. Feel the AGC action. There is no distortion on audio. Delta Juliet 8, Charlie Lima. Delta Juliet 8, Charlie Lima. Standing by. So I an RF gain control and the signal it's uh, for the local station especially you can you see this action this action This is a strong signal, I guess it's coming from the radar, but its audio is not uh, distorted, so the Again, it's at maximum. And um, Delta Loop on the roof is a horizontal triangle. This is direct gain control in action. And the rest is controlled by the audio AGC. I'll show you the schematic. So this is the schematic of the AGC. So I'm using only this this part of the schematic, the audio capacitor, the diodes and the um, field effect transistor. I will show you how it is it's looking on my BTX inside the case. The signal is coming from pin 5 of the LM386. The output, the drain of the field effect transistor is coming on the middle side of the vo volume pot. And of course the, the ground. Uh, 
I'm actually quite satisfied with this uh, audio AGC due to the fact that the audio is uh, a little on the lower side with the AGC I just added a one micro farad capacitor between uh, pin uh, a pin one and, uh, and eight I believe and the schematic so I added the capacitor in place the RF gain control it's placed here it's a one kilo ohm linear potentiometer and it's connected on the R16 pad I removed the R16 resistor and uh, on the pads I uh, uh, soldered uh, two, two wires for the for the RF gain uh, control. So these are the modification. I, will, uh, uh, I just added also the uh, resistor for the RIT uh, control. I'm using 109 version of the firmware, which I'm very happy with because um, uh, it has a lot of settings and uh, many useful uh, things implemented in this version. I like the simple menu also. You can calibrate very easy. You can calibrate the LSB, you can calibrate the, the, the USB. You can set the drive level here. I have best results with 2 milliamps. Small noise and you can also set the drive for the USB. And you can set the tuning range. The range is a little higher on my side. I I'll put it on 50 kilohertz the tuning range. So this is very useful. You can work split uh, very easily also with um, uh, with uh, this uh, version of firmware. For instance, the VFO A is set on uh, let's say 150. I'll keep it longer. VFO A is equal to VFO B, and uh, let's say 5 up I'm back to the VFOA double press and now if I press the PTT I'm on 155 so very useful double tap and it's off so I'm uh, quite happy with this version of um, the firmware with the audio AGC and the uh, RF gain mode. So thanks for watching 73 from Wire 2 LIW.